Thank you so much, you and yes, exciting moments in our studio and also what we've been saying we will talk about this morning, hashtag fees must fall. Now, a historic mass campaign shook the foundations of South Africa and of course announced on Friday by our president uh, saying that uh, a zero uh, percent increase to university fees for next year. Uh, of course, our students are saying, well, should we stop this hashtag fees must fall campaign or should we continue? Well, this morning we have our students in our studio to talk about it and to hear what their views are. And Bali, I'm going to get right into it and, and just start with you. I mean, you're all students, you were all out there protesting and also making sure that your voices are getting heard. Uh, we know that you are calling for a few things. Some say that they are happy with the decision of a 0% increase for next year. Others say we want free education. Does this fight continue? Of course, this fight continues because education, free education is actually a right. And so there should be no debate about um, whether this, this movement should continue or not. And I think a lot of people who are celebrating this 0% increase don't realize that university education, tertiary education, shouldn't be a privilege. And it is still a privilege for some people. The same students who were financially excluded this year are going to be financially excluded next year. So the movement must continue to do what it has set out to do, and that's to deal decolonize the institution completely and that means removing any any form of capitalism in the institution. Uh, it seems like it was really hard out there. I mean just watching and, and we know that a lot of us weren't on the campuses. Alterations with the police, some of your friends were arrested. Uh, it's really hard out there. Tear gas. Dad, how, how far are you willing to take this fight? I mean, uh, I think Keep Sandy's, your microphone near you. I mean, Sandy's the one that, that's actually, she experienced the violence um, um, first hand so I think she should answer the question. Um, so um, I was definitely part of the 23 people um, who, who uh, UCT um, sent police to arrest on Tuesday morning. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and, and as a trans woman, um, you know, I, I felt several layers of trauma mm -hmm. um, going through that experience. You know. Case, I'm sorry. Um, you know, definitely we know that trans women um, uh, have, a, have a, a very traumatic relationship with the police mm -hmm. and, uh, and the criminal justice system. How far are you willing to take the fight? I mean, I think definitely we have to take it to a logical conclusion. Um, the mandate is simple. Um, firstly, we, we, we demand free education. Secondly, we, we demand for our mothers and fathers to be humanized by ending outsourcing. Who's paying for your school fees? Um, this year, I'm currently on a scholarship, but that's the end of, that's the end of it. Mm -hmm. Next year, um, which, uh, which is my last year at university, I have to pay around 130,000 rand a year. I do not know where I'll get, get the money. From. Okay. There's a lot of, uh, I'm going to say it, anger from South Africa and, and I guess the students as well. Just don't cry, but <laughs> I see your face. Oh gosh, um, you guys are at the forefront. I mean, you're there. I, I see online how you are almost not wanting these celebrities to come and show face because it's not a, a it's not a showcase. It's not a fashion show. Uh, it's a serious matter. What needs to change? I mean, what kind of government do you see ruling South Africa? I mean, what the students are, um, it's, it makes us seem like our demands are unreasonable. Mm. But basically, what we're asking for is what we were promised in 1994. Literally what we're asking for is what the government has promised to its people all over, over and over again. And instead of the government supporting us, instead of the government um, sticking to its mandate, the government has only brutalized us. The government has only isolated us. We've been labeled terrorists, like for saying that we want free education. Is, the, is it continuing today? It's continuing until um, black workers at UCT, especially from our part, what we can say as UTC, UCT students is that it will continue until black workers and black students at UCT are vindicated. Okay. Well, listen, we, we wish you only the best. We're sitting here and we're helping you, and this is your voice, your platform. Okay, so thank you so much for coming in this morning. Our students uh, giving their opinion and, and voicing their concerns. Later on, we will be chatting to the Department of Higher Education as well, do what they have to say. I hope you don't clash background. Uh, backstage later on <laughs> this morning. This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show. We're with our students this morning and we're going to take a quick ad break.